ओके okay, सबसे पहले तो वेलकम शर्मा थैंक यू एंड बाईपास रोड का ट्रेलर देख के ही पता चलता है कि अगेन यू आर गोइंग टू ब्रिंग द बिग स्क्रीन ऑन फायर थैंक यू तो जानना चाहेंगे सबसे पहले तो हाउ वॉज इट वर्किंग और uh, किस तरीके से बाईपास रोड हैपन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इंसिडेंट एक्चुअली द फर्स्ट टाइम समबड़ी कॉल मी फ्रॉम नेल्स ऑफिस दे गिव मी अ डिफरेंट इम्प्रेशन ऑफ द फिल्म सो Uh, of my role, in fact. Um, so I said, no, I will not be interested in doing this. Mm-hmm. Then uh, Naman himself called me after two days, and he said, we would like to meet you for one of the lead roles. And um, I said, but somebody else was saying something else, and they were like, no, 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 please, please come and meet us. So I, you know, always was, uh, you know, keen on meeting Neil and uh, Naman. So I went and met them, and they were so sweet and so down to earth and so like engrossed in their. script and the film and everything that and they had so much will and desire to work with me and he was neil specifically he was adamant that there's nobody who can do this role better than you so mm-hmm. i need you for this role you have to do it and and when i saw all this love i just you know and also i like the script i i just couldn't say no for this yeah so i have to do it that's how it happened okay so if you, if you can tell us more about your the character you are playing I play Sara Braganza. Um she's a supermodel. She's somebody who uh is a she's the glamour quotient of the film and um uh she also is somebody with whom the whole mystery is attached with um uh, as you've seen the trailer you can you know guess you you can you can get a little bit of idea that the whole mystery of the film revol- revolves around Sara and her death or whether it is happened or if it's happened how it's happened and who's done it if it has happened um so that's the whole film about and uh, sara's character is a larger than life character it's she's she's hot she's glamorous she's up there she's a superstar everybody wants a piece of her yet there is there are these insecurities of a human being you know the layers of a human being that you have uh, that you will get to see in sara's character that in spite of having all of that she's unhappy mm-hmm. you know there is something lacking in her mm-hmm. um more than this i will not tell you <laughs> you got to watch the film <laughs> okay so shamam we have seen uh, you being so far from the promotion mm-hmm. activities right uh, what, what, what was the reason behind this not really far i mean i have been giving interviews every day and i think they have some strategy in mind uh, after all uh, neil is the captain of the ship and naman is the captain of the ship i'm sure they have something you know in mind and obviously we were waiting for the right moment a momentum to you know to come along as there are so many other films releasing at the same time there's so much happening so we were waiting for uh, a period when we get close to the to the release and uh, that's when you know we all took a conscious decision to sort of go all out mm-hmm. so right now i'm all out okay so if we talk about the film bypass so yeah. you know you are there even adha is there yeah. and when when two actress works together yeah. there is some kind of competition <laughs> which which is been bit between them right so did you felt that uh, competition or did, were you both competitive or uh, it was just about friends well okay. luckily i don't have any scenes with adha in okay. the film i come across there's only one scene between me and her and neel mm-hmm. where we cross paths if if i have to say so um and um, you see i'm a very easy person to work with mm. i myself don't like to create any problems or give anybody a reason to create any problems mm. and ara is also a very sweet person she's uh, in fact she's been so open and vocal about you know the things that she likes about me so many times in front of everybody that i find very endearing and mm. uh, you know very sweet of her to come and tell me that oh i like this picture of yours or oh i saw this and you were looking very nice and stuff like that so i you know today's generation is different we like to appreciate each other we like to at least i as a person i can talk about myself i like to empower each other especially women because you know i've seen most of the times it's women who really um put themselves down it's 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 you know uh that's why uh, other people can take advantage of them if all women get together and empower each other and and push each other uh, i don't think there'll be anybody who can put them down again so so yeah i i believe in that and i think i give that energy and she was always sweet as i said so we never really had to um, go through this kind of 
feelings or emotions okay so wearing uh, you know ada she is also into fashion and mm. every people love her fashion right, sense as right. well as your fashion yeah. sense is also yeah. always been appreciated uh-huh. but did you both uh, any like however on sets or uh, have you ever discussed about this thing uh in person no as i said that i didn't really have uh, much time to spend with her god much time to spend with her because her scenes are separate my scenes are separate so we never really got that much time to really talk uh, uh talk with each other about each other's fashion sense and i think her style of fashion is totally different than what mine is mm-hmm. uh and both have different kind of fan following and you know uh people appreciate us in whatever we do which is great uh, i'm grateful for people for appreciating me and her <laughs> so yeah i mean uh th- there is nothing to discuss about fashion in terms of her style of fashion is totally different than mine mm-hmm. yeah okay so uh, also would like to know you know uh, there are uh, this industry uh, pe- like actors are being offered same kind of mm. role many times do mm. you feel that even you are being offered uh, like same kind of role well that happens i guess you know it is bound to happen because when you do something so well and that works everybody wants to make the same kind of project everybody wants to cast you in the similar role but i think it, as an actor it's your will or wish or desire uh if you have that desire to keep changing and keep evolving then then it is your subconscious effort or your subconscious decision to not uh, to say no to those projects and move on to mm-hmm. something different i do that most of the time that's why you see me in very uh less shows or or web shows or films because i don't like to keep doing the same kind of work and unfortunately this is how the industry has always been you know it's very difficult for it's it's very difficult for us to uh uh break through that one image that we ourselves have created by doing such good work mm-hmm. uh you know but the idea behind doing good work is i really hope that people understand that if somebody can do a character so well they'll be able to do any character well mm-hmm. uh but but yeah typecasting is the rule of of life <laughs> Okay, so as I said, you know, I've always wanted to meet Neil and yeah. uh, Naman. Yeah. But how is it working with them uh, on screen? Lot of fun, lot of fun. Um, both the brothers. Naman is a sweetheart. He's so calm. He's very composed. He's um, because it's also his first film. He's very young, and he's work getting to work with such you know um, actors who have done so much work and so much great work in their life. He's always. this very humble sweet person if he has to say something he'll say it in a very you know chota aawaz bhi nahi nikalta uska so we have to sometime tease him ke naman thoda zor se bolo um very neel is totally different you know neel is um, is uh, something who knows it all he has done a lot of work in his life even even as an as an assistant director he has you know worked with a lot of big uh, production houses uh so he's learned a lot of things and he obviously is the elder brother you know and um, he is a little commanding um, but he but he commands what he really thinks is right and and most of the times even for us you know it's very easy to take that because we understand where it's coming from we understand that the, that an experienced person with the right kind of experience is telling us to do something so in this film uh, neil has been involved in every aspect uh, from clothing to makeup to um, the look of each person the uh, the dialogue delivery the dialogues everything i mean he's personally you know for seen everything so um, and along with that you know i've had actors like uh, rajit kapoor um um sudanshu pande gul panag uh, manish ji ke sath to i i didn't get to you know a chance to work with but these people are around and they're so funny they're hilarious like sudanshu pande and rajit together they are hilarious um so kab haste khelte you know we we pass our time we, i i didn't come to know i in fact miss those days now hmm. okay talking about this industry you know it's it's for some people it's good or for uh, for hmm. some people it's not that good do you think that you didn't got so many chances to show your uh, no 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 i think i get work. more than enough chances the industry has been really kind on me hmm. it's been it's been my subconscious effort to not do the similar roles as i said like okay. unfortunately i do get offers 
literally almost every day touch wood and um, I, I feel blessed and grateful to be able to say no to be able to have everything in my life to be able to be blessed with everything in my life to have this uh, uh, authority or or this um, um, what do you call it um, I, I'm at a stage in my life where I can say no to so many projects so it's not that I don't get offers it's not that people don't offer me people have always offered me things it has been me who has been able to either do or not do a project for a certain reason or various reasons you know mm. so uh, no that way I feel uh, I feel um, it always it's always about you how you feel about the world the world will react exactly the same I I'm a very positive person I like to believe that the world loves me I like to believe that um, everybody loves me and they do because I also love them from from within you see I don't see anybody as a threat or I don't see anybody as a I don't hold grudges against anybody I understand that if somebody has done something bad with me maybe there was a reason you know there is a history everybody has a history so when you have this forgiving nature the world also forgives you you know it gives you back whatever you give it mm -hmm. so I have I've always believed in that and I've always been like that so I've been grateful gratefully I, I think I've been really blessed uh, in terms of everything whether I have work or no the media writes about me the media wants to know about me there's so much love that I always get from media you know uh, and I sometimes it, it's overwhelming for me because I feel like are, how are they loving me so much but it's also because I think I love them you know every time I meet all of them I meet them with a lot of love a lot of respect and I think that's what that's that's what a human being mm -hmm. desires and you know they all deserve it so I think it's just about what you give is what yes, you get. What you yes. Yeah, right. Okay, so uh, besides this, if I'm not wrong, you're also going to come up with one music album. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So if you can tell us something about <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, it's a song with Mika Singh. Um, uh, it's called Majnu Remix. Uh, it's from his movie Adat. Uh, and um, very soon uh, we'll have a release for that as well. So I'm looking forward to that. It's a very, very cool song, very peppy. It'll be like a um, like a nightclub anthem because it's something that you can play anywhere, mm -hmm. and it's a very it's a song that you can dedicate to your friends, to your you know lover. It's it's a it's a song that you can sing for anybody. Yeah. So I really like it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Because the festival season is also on, and Diwali is on its way, yeah. not too far. So what are your your plans this Diwali? The plan is to just get ready nicely <laughs> <laughs> and go and party with my friends. Uh, I look forward to Diwali honestly uh, from my childhood I had I don't know what connection I always look forward to Diwali because these eight ten days that you know the whole festive uh, the whole festivity around the city is so beautiful to look at the lights are so beautiful to look at people you know really make an effort to decorate their homes and bring mithai in the house and uh, although it's very heavy on us, the next day we only have to do a lot of workout. But <laughs> but but you know, I guess I guess it's fun. It's like you know, it makes you. Um, sometimes I wonder if we didn't have all these festivals, what would a human being do? Mm. You'd get bored, because you know, a, a, an everyday mundane life will bore you to death. Mm -hmm. So people created these festivals. People keep creating these uh, events to to feel alive in life. You know, to celebrate. Uh, so I think you know that's the spirit of Diwali. Everybody is in a celebrating mode, and um, everybody's open to each other, happy to meet each other. There's no agenda. There's no like, oh, I will not say hello to this one. You know, everybody's so happy that they are okay to um, invite another person into their life, and that's a very beautiful energy to have in a festival. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, uh, festival means food, right? Yeah. Diwali is also Diwali also means food. Yeah. Which is which is that one food? Or uh, which you like, or which you enjoy having it in Diwali. All kind of mitais. <laughs> I like everything that makes you fat. <laughs> uh, everything, yeah, the chaat papri, the the different kind of chaats and um, mitai, you know, the mawa cake, the kalakan, um, makhan bhog, and uh, ras malai and rabri. Oh my god. I can name it all. I think so I so many things, but still we yeah. doesn't feel like you have. Oh, trust me, I feel like it. 
I feel like it. आपको दिखता नहीं है वेरी स्मार्ट वेरी स्मार्ट ड्रेस आई ड्रेस अप अकॉर्डिंगली अकॉर्डिंग टू माई वेट बचपन की यादें दिवाली के साथ में इन माई लाइफ I have discovered the child within me much later because I started working very early. Mm-hmm. So I was always very matured like mm-hmm. you know I had a lot of responsibility and I always behaved like a matured person. So of late I am letting my child out. So now I am really enjoying enjoying Diwali and the festivity and getting ready and and being excited like a child you know the other day i was playing cards and i won 50000 i was jumping around everywhere i was like yeah 50000 mm-hmm. <laughs> you know i never do that but uh, but i think of late i have learned this and thanks to my meditation that made me you know hi hi ji badi and thanks to my meditation meditation that made me realize that um, you know it's very important to keep your child alive mm-hmm. uh, so so now i get very excited about things whether i get anything or no it doesn't matter but when when i'm so excited you no know, see how the universe function uh, when i am so excited about things things end up becoming exciting and th- things end up giving me all that joy that i that that i am feeling from within mm-hmm. so yeah and who's your favorite person to celebrate Diwali festival yeah all my friends i love all my friends equally i love my friends my family um i have a very small friend circle with whom we all we are always together mm-hmm. on any festival or no festival and i think i usually like to celebrate all my special occasions with with these people and on diwali i look forward to meet some new people as well mm-hmm. as i said the energy is so inviting and um and open to receive uh people's good energy and 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 accept them as who they are uh it helps you to make more friends so i look forward to making more friends on mm-hmm. the valley so we'll be starting with bypass road and we'll we'll end up with bypass road yes so let us know uh, when will we be able to see bypass road well today i came to know that our release date has shifted from 1st to 8th november so um please all of you you have to go and watch bypass road if you like to watch thriller movies if you like to see something mysterious something that has a little bit of horror element as well something that can keep you on the edge of the seat if you really like that you will love bypass road so please go and watch the film give us your love so we can make more such films thank you bandhi bandhi hi this is shama sikandar and i wish all the viewers a very very happy and prosperous diwali Thank you so much. Thank you. Fun talking to you. Thank you. Chale.